What's up, guys? H the Marza here from the Tech Cruiser channel. <clears throat> Coming to you live from hopefully the final mounting solution. Um, wow. Anyways, back to the uh, back to the Tech Cruiser. So a lot of stuff going on. Um, I'm in the middle of building a, um, a, a desktop dock for my iPhone. Uh, which is going pretty well. There's some uh, pictures and uh, some some story, not a story board. There's some uh, some story along the way at my blog, uh, hmarzo.blogger.com. Uh, Blogspot, that's the one, hmarzo.blogspot.com. <clears throat> you can check out the details there. Um, it's coming along pretty well. we got to get a coat of paint, a little different uh, adhesive material, and we'll be... Uh, set up and good to go and we'll post the final uh, the final product on, uh, on a video we'll do a video for you um, I've tested it so far it does work pretty well um, you just need to make it pretty and make it more functional I guess it, there's the word for it anyways story in hand today uh, for all you tech nerds and geeks and tech enthusiasts and anybody who loves and uses technology um, looks like the government is at it again they are attempting to make use of any mobile device while uh, driving a car they're trying to make that against the against the law again completely and totally not even like Bluetooth the hands-free stuff like anything they're trying to ban it so you can't use your phone at all with the exception of maybe um, GPS, that's okay. Um, while you're driving at all, the, um, I <laughs> this drives me nuts, man. Like, all right, I'm gonna get on a little bit of a soapbox here. Um, I understand the reasoning because people tend to like n texting and driving. Okay, it's bad. Yes, I agree. Don't do it. Um, holding the phone to your ear while driving, yes, it's bad. It distracts you from the road because you're holding it, not because you're talking on it. Um, I mean, in the case of, of you know, like for my situation, um, the radio in my car is Bluetooth. I have my phone hooked into my radio. So if I get a phone call, all I do is reach down and boop and push the the volume button and I'm talking to somebody on my phone like they're sitting here in the car because it goes over the, the car stereo the car speakers how is that any different than having somebody in the car so why don't we just tell why don't we just make it a complete enclosure and say nobody can ride in anybody else's car you have to have your own car because it's distracting to the driver and while we're at it let's remove the radio too because that's distracting you know, you, you, your focus is off the road when you're changing radio stations. Fighter pilots in the desert are talking to somebody while they're being shot at. It's not that serious, people. Yeah, seriously, like fighter pilots and helicopter pilots, while they're being shot at, shot at with, uh, you know, with uh, uh, air, ground to air rockets and. Um, shoulder fired rockets and, and crap like that they, they have a radio attached to their ear talking to their control center are we supposed to eliminate that too well, that's far more dangerous than driving the car anyways uh, that's my little soapbox about that but seriously she's trying to make it um, I don't know who she is her name is not really important um, they're trying to make it against the law to use any cell phone while driving any car um, so watch out for that. Uh, that may be pushed. It, it may just be left. Um, you never know. All the other dangerous stuff that people do while they're driving. But honestly, people, if you're driving, pay attention. Even as I'm talking to you right now, I'm still looking at the road because that's right where it's mounted is the road on the dashboard. Um, still paying attention. I have a hand on the wheel. It's right here. 
It's awesome. Uh, what else is going on? Nothing really new in the land of Apple. Um, let's see, what else is, uh, is, what else is trending and popping in the world of technology? Um, the more and, the more and more I search the web for, um, for awesome things to do with it, with iPhones, um, the more and more I actually re legitimately run across, um, ran across a, a way to control my garage door. Yes, I still have one of those garage door opener things that clip to your visor. Shut up! Anyways, um, found a good way to make it, make the garage door opener operate with a Bluetooth headset and some wiring. So that's kind of cool. There is ways to use your iPhone as a universal remote for like basically every device in your house. This was done years and years ago when uh, when Palm Pilots were were, uh, were popular, or you know, were the hip and hip and uh, trendy thing going on. You get your Palm going on, you flip it out, you can switch radio stations and control your TV and stuff like that. Well, there's stuff out now that uh, that's going to allow you to use your iPhone and other devices like that to. Uh, control basically all the media in your house. Um, radio, Blu-ray, streaming, and NASBOX, and um, basically everything, which is kind of awesome. Um, so that's kind of cool. That's coming back. I'm, I'm happy to see that's coming back. Um, we're still looking for a way. I'm still looking, searching, Googling, binging. It's still very strange to me, but whatever. Um, we're gonna. We're trying to find a way to uh, to transmit low-level radio signals with the iPhone. I mean, not to transmit a tertiary signal. We're looking to control things um, like the garage door opener, um, so I don't have to use a Bluetooth headset and the Bluetooth connection. Though that's mega cool. Um, the iPhone should be capable of transmitting just like a, a real low real short, low-level burst, you know, a couple of seconds, low frequency, to, uh, to pop open a garage door. So, more to come on that. Uh, keep that, keep all those, all those thoughts in the top of your brain. Definitely pay attention, keep an eye out for the, um, for the, uh, the cell phone becomes a, uh, enemy of the United States government, uh, news story. Unbelievable. Anyways, um, You'll keep an eye out for those things. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, um, great ways that you don't use your phone while driving, um, hit me up. Leave a comment down below. Shoot me an email. Um, check out my about. Ah, that's something new. We recently signed up for an about me page. Uh, it's about dot me slash h zone. You can get all the details about everything I'm doing. Uh, Facebook, YouTube. Twitter, LinkedIn, uh, my blog, it's all there, it's all one central hub, so go ahead and check it out, about.me slash h Marzo. Till next time, keep it real.